Her research and discoveries got the attention of the Junior Seau Foundation. Last Thursday, Dr. Yishi Jin learned that she is the first person to chair an endowment given by the Seau Foundation. The chair was established by the foundation in memory of him, the beloved NFL Football Hall of Famer and longtime San Diego Charger. He passed away in 2012 and was later diagnosed with CTE. And congratulations, she is here. Welcome UCSD researcher and professor Jen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You've many years of hard work and research to help people. Uh, you have uh, discovered a new genetic pathway that carries hope for people with traumatic brain injury, spinal cord issues. What is that all about? Uh, it's a, a line of research that using model organisms where we define what the genes are important that you needed to take care of it and so that to prevent uh, neurons from injury. And this is really is um, a line of basic science research that will lead to translation impact and when the information is used properly by uh, other people who have skills in uh, medical so you're, you're, you have discovered a pathway mm -hmm. uh, from, you, you're learning from the cells that, re that naturally repair themselves, right. as opposed to the cells that do not naturally repair themselves That's after right. an injury. Yeah. And you've taken that, sort of reverse engineered it, forward engineered it, and found a pathway. Right. And so when will, do you have an idea of when that will start to affect or help people? Well, that it can take some time. And it often depends on the key component, the technology, several disciplines come together. And uh, we found this pathway in the past, through probably nearly a decade work. And um, what's good about this pathway is it's um, involving small RNA. And nowadays, uh, RNA-mediated therapy has been um, in the market in clinic trials. So really? there will be hope, yeah, within what I'm hoping, within a decade. Yeah, within our lifetime. Within, yes, within our lifetime. Really? Yes. And the whole, are we talking about full recovery here or just, you know, as much as possible? I think it's not going to be full recovery. And then from other side of our research, we know it's not a single pathway is uh, important, it's sufficient to make the axons to repair themselves. There are actually several pathways. So it is a matter of fact that how to make a combinatorial interactions. Man, I'm into it. Yes. I'm so into it, man. I'm following everything you're saying. Uh, the, the Junior Seau Endowment, part of that qualifies, you guys have to do some, or not that you wouldn't want to, some outreach programs yes. with, uh, around, around I'm town? I'm looking forward to it. And I think uh, I have been a professor for 22 years. And uh, I always wanted to engage students from high schools and college students in lab research. And I think it's important that they learn the core, the basic science knowledge. Mm -hmm. Great. Who better than you, right? So my, one of my favorite questions is, what do you want and what do you wish for? Oh, I wanted to be able to bring, you know, use the endowed um, funding and to uh, test the risk ideas and I wanted to uh, contribute to a creative thinking in drug designs, in uh, pushing our understanding how brain works Interesting. in the future. Wow, it's, it's so dynamic. So what do you wish for? Is that part of the wish or was that with the want? It's both part of wish and it's also it's what I'm doing. <laughs> Got you. And you're doing some great work. The Seau donation was $250,000. It was matched by UCSD and the Division of Biological Sciences and the Kavli Institute for Brain and Mind. So they got started with a million dollars. Not a bad start. Thanks for being here and we're going to send Thank it back you. inside now with you.